down a few bodies for Kentucky, but they start with the opening possession. Man-to-man -man defensively by the Commodores. The Commodores are a smaller team than this Kentucky Wildcats squad. The arrow. Reeves. Little baseline jumper. He stays hot. Not an easy shot, folks. And here is Kentucky starting five with Shepard Reeves. Edwards in the starting five along with Hierro and Onyenso. Onyenso keeps it alive. Top of the key, three is good. Justin Edwards, just 28% this season. And he transferred from Lehigh, but he is the best pure shooter when he gets it going. Boy, Reeves tried to throw that one up high in the air for Onyenso. Kept alive. Dillingham's first shot is perfect. That rebound into the hands of Reeves. Back the other way to Shepard around the perimeter. The man is hot. He is hot, <laughs> hot, hot. Dillingham, back-to-back -back baskets. All net, both of them. Shepard. Get it back. To Dillingham and a hand check on the perimeter no shot but a timeout on the floor Dillingham checks in and checks on the I watch as Shepard runs a point position because of Wagner being out and Shepard's job is to get the Wildcats in a flow and to find Dillingham Dillingham Already with nine points, gets it to the corner, and there's Reeves knocking that three home, and Reeves up to seven. On this Kentucky team, they'll pick that top guy, and they'll make their point guard turn the corner, try to make a play. Tomateros can't get that to go. He knocked home his first shot, which is good for Vanderbilt. He came in one for 15 from behind the arc. There's just no stopping Dillingham right now. I don't know that anybody has the answer for that. Dillingham draws some contact. He'll head to the free throw line where he's 74% on the year. How about the speed by Dillingham? I'm not sure enough people talk about his pure speed as he brings it. He explodes by. Now he's got every defender trying to figure out what he's going to do. Young man out of Hickory, North Carolina. Over the last three games, been averaging almost 24 points a game, shooting 57% from the field, 50% from behind the arc. Things, the dynamic change changes when he gets on the court. And he is not telling to, him to slow down at all because that's just not his game. Gets it off to Bradshaw. Dillingham wants a little screen. To the back to Bradshaw. Oh, is that classic teamwork. Beautiful basketball play. And they run the pick and roll with their bigs that can play way above the rim. Dillingham off to Reeves. He knew that was good. The moment has left his hands. Reeves in double figures. Not many answers for Vandy, and I think Tyron Lawrence has to get something going on the offensive end. It is already a 17-point Kentucky advantage. Make it 20. Reeves and Dillingham are putting on a clinic. They have combined for 26 points and are 6 out of 6. Special finish there. His first points of the game. Reed Shepard, talk about a guy who's been shooting it well. It's been all season for Reed Shepard. He is 54% from behind the arc. Reed Shepard, 53% overall, but 54% from behind the arc. His numbers are fabulous uh, for any year in school, but he's only a freshman. You gotta find, gotta find ways to finish when you have opportunities because then you get this on the other end. This Kentucky team averages just about 15 seconds per possession, which is top 20 in the country. Onyan ran into some trouble there. Back the other way goes Edwards to the basket. Wow, he lays it up and in. His guy was Burks, who went to try to make some special block on Monyon again. Those two guys jawing a little bit. Nice pass. Wow, what a cut. Dillingham finds Edwards for the throwdown. Edwards. Well, that's a strong physical dribble. Play on the ball. Return to action against Tennessee. 
for Bradshaw. Triple teamed. Gets it to Dillingham. And then gets it to Edwards. And they're going to call a foul against J.Q. Roberts. And Roberts thought he had a good block. Trap, but you got three defenders. Good pass. Boy, Roberts might not even have touched it. Well, I think that's a clean block. Boy, Jerry Stackhouse not happy with it. Dave, it's just a scramble to get back into the play. I thought Roberts made a good, at least a good attempt to block that shot. Three throws tonight for Kentucky. Perfect. Eight out of eight at the line. Different team on the floor because when Mignon sits down, Vanderbilt has a hard time finding some shots. Lewis. That pass is picked off by Edwards. Boom! Wow! Here we go, folks. Look Just out below. Edwards puts a little feeling into it. That Dillingham all the way to the rim. Speed, quickness. Here's Shepard. Oh, what a nice catch and a finish by Edwards underneath. Most points in a conference game for him this year. I think the nice part of Taylor is the variety he has shown yeah. us. We know he can hit the outside that time, middle, mid-range, but uh, Dillingham <laughs> doing what he does. Dillingham. <laughs> he is just bucking. Well, it's it's, it's all fun to watch. Yeah. It's the, the speed and quickness and then his ability to finish around the rim. It took a lot more minutes. He's gotten a lot more minutes this season than maybe they thought. 13 minutes of ball game. Good pass. Easy bucket. Cleanly catch that ball. Up ahead it comes. Dillingham. Alley oop and another one for Jordan Burks. Showtime. And that will do it. No basket on the other end, and a dominating performance by Kentucky. They snapped their little two-game losing streak. Most points in an SEC game.